Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, our topic is arithmetic progression or simply called arithmetic sequence. In this video tutorial, we will be working on question 9 and 10. So let's get started with question number 9. It states, for an arithmetic progression, if a sub 3 equals to 5 and a sub 7 equal to 9 find the arithmetic progression so we have to create arithmetic sequence given this data so right now let's go ahead and write it down over here in our case our a sub 3 equals to 5 and i'm going to write down a sub 7 equal to 9. What that means is a sub 3 means this 3 means that our n equal to 3 and here a sub 7. 7 means our n equal to 7. And here is our arithmetic progression formula. So we will be using that one. So let's start off with this first part over here. Our formula is a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's fill in the blanks. a sub n, in, in our case, a sub n is simply a sub 3 equal to, we don't know the value of a sub 1, just leave it there. Plus, in our case, n is 3, so 3 minus 1, and we don't know d either, so just put it down. So but we know that a of 3 is 5. You can see this one. We are going to place replace that one. So that is going to become 5 equals to a of 1 plus 2d. I am going to call this equation as equation number 1. Let's move on to the other side right now. We're going to be using this same formula again. A sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And in our case, a sub n is a sub 7 equal to, we don't know, a sub 1 plus, in our case, n is 7 minus 1 times d. So we know that a sub 7 in our case is simply 9 so I'm going to replace that one so this is going to become 9 equal to a sub 1 plus 6 D so this is we're going to call it equation number 2 now from these two equations we are going to find out the values of a sub 1 and d. We're going to solve for a sub 1 and d. So for that purpose, I am going to say subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So this is what we are going to do. And here I have put down equation 2 and equation 1 and we're going to subtract uh, equation 1 from 2 so I'm going to change the sign this positive 5 become negative 5 this become negative a1 and this is negative 2d we just simply switch the signs so this a1 and negative a1 they cross each other out so we simply ended up with this is going to be a 9 minus 5 is 4 equals to 4d isn't it 6d minus 2d is 4d we divide both sides by 4 to isolate d that means our d value turns out to be positive 1 the common difference and as we figured out d equals to 1 we can easily find the value of a sub 1 by just simply putting this d equals to one value in either of these equation i'm going to put it in equation number one so i'm going to say put uh, d equals to one value in equation one 
so here is our equation number one let's put in this thing plug it in so 5 equal to a sub 1 plus 2 times d is 1 let's solve for a sub 1 5 equal to a sub 1 plus 2 subtract 2 from both side we're gonna do this thing so that simply this 2 and negative 2 cancels out so we just simply got a of 1 equal to 3. So the very first term turns out to be 3 and d equals to 1. So thus our arithmetic progression turns out to be 3. The first number is, this is called the first term, which is a of 1 is 3 as we figure out from here. And then the next one is we're going to get the num next number by just simply adding 1 because d is positive 1. Every time you add positive 1, we are going to get the next term by just simply positive 1. So thus this is our answer. And here is our next question. This question states the fifth term of an arithmetic progression is 11 and the tenth term is 41. What is the very first term? So first, very first term means that we are going to find a sub 1 is how much. That's what we are looking for. So over here, let's look at from what we know from here. Fifth term means over here, this means fifth term means a of 5 equals to 11. So this is what we've been given and the ter tenth term that means a of 10 equals to 41. This much we know. And by just looking at this a sub 5, this 5 means, that means n equal to 5. And here a sub 10 tells us that n equals to 10. And here is our arith arithmetic progress, uh, progression formula and that we will be using over here. Let's do this one in this section a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d let's fill in the blanks a sub n in our case is a sub 5 equal to we don't know the value of a sub 1 just leave it there plus in our case n is 5 minus 1 times we don't know d either just just write it down as it is we know that a sub 5 equals to 11 so I can write 11 equal to a sub 1 plus 4 D so this we're gonna call this as equation number one let's move on to now next section over here this part if we're gonna be using against the same formula so a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d in our case a sub n is a sub 10 equal to again we don't know a sub n 1 and n is 10 minus 1 times d we don't know d as well so right now we know that a sub 10 in our case is 41 so I can write 41 equal to a sub 1 plus 9 d and we are going to call this as equation number two and from these equations i can easily find the value of a1 so let us subtract equation one from equation two and here are our equation 2 and 1 right up here and I'm going to subtract equation 1 from 2 so I am going to change the sign this become negative 11 negative a1 negative 4d we just simply switching the signs so we can see that this a1 cancel with this negative a1 so we ended up with 41 minus 11 is going to give us 30 equals to 
5 d and we're gonna divide both side by 5 that gonna give us d is going to be 6 since we want to find the value of a1 so I am going to put uh, this value of d equal to 6 in either of this equation so I'm going to put in equation 1 so this simply becomes here is equation number 1 we're going to just fill in the blanks 11 equal to a sub 1 plus 4 times d in our case is 6 so that means 11 equal to a sub 1 plus 24 I am going to subtract 24 from both sides so this 24 and negative 24 they are gone so we just simply ended up with a of 1 equal to negative 13 this is our very first term so thus our final answer is the very first term is negative 13 and that is our answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye